getting a chance to walk out on this bridge. It's a nice bridge that crosses over the Withalacuchi River. Whew. Getting a chance to get out in the nature really jazzes me up, man, I tell you. Just makes me feel happy. Especially in Florida. <laughs> Even when it's as hot as it is. It's just, it's just so nice because I'm so used to being an indoors guy. To be an outdoors guy and appreciate it now. It's such a blessing. Something I neglected for a long time. And I want to share it with you. So that you won't neglect it. So that you'll see that you can do this too. If I could do it, you can do it. Let's talk about it. So somebody asked me while I was walking earlier, uh, what's the shirt about? And I was caught a little off guard by somebody asking me as I'm walking because I'm so used to just talking to you guys. And uh, my response was a little bit short, but they didn't look like they'd be responsive to it. I mean, didn't look like they were on a carnivore diet. Uh, so I gotta say I was a little short and I apologize for that. So if you're watching this and you were one of those two ladies, all I said was, all I eat is meat. And it changed everything. And I don't know because I was walking, I, I didn't hear what they said. But if I'd have stopped for a moment and had a chance to talk to them, I would have said, carnivore diet saved my life. I was on my last leg, I'm just about ready to give up on living anymore. And I found a diet that not only changed the way I look and I feel, but it changed the way I feel about myself and the way I think and gave me energy and strength and stamina and desire to live again. That's what this shirt is about. This shirt that says the only problem with uh, that could possibly be associated with meat is not consuming enough of it. Because when you're deprived of it, you're deprived of what gives you energy and strength. That's why I wear this shirt. Today's my three mile walk and push ups day. So far I've knocked out 50 of my push ups. You can see those here. Uh, I've been doing them on an incline to kind of get the, what is it, the lower part of my pecs up? Something, I don't know. I'm trying to work on all the, the whole area. So I try to do a little on decline, a little on incline, and a little on a flat plane. But I just wanted to come back and give you guys a little more motivation because I'm still keeping on, keeping on. Even though my job keeps me in front of a computer a lot of times, especially with uh, everybody worried about getting sick all the time, it's hard to get meetings with people. It's nice to be able to get out and get some exercise. It really helps when you gotta get some sleep at night, especially if you are working a job where you don't get a whole lot of activity. And if you are working a job where you get a whole lot of activity, the meat diet has been great for me when I was doing a lot over and over, day after day when I was moving and moving logs on my property. It has just been a fantastic diet for whatever type of lifestyle you want to live. And it encourages me to want to get up and take advantage of the fact that I've got energy and that I have uh, the ability to get the body that I wanted. I can look at it and see that it's not, a, it's not a bridge too far to be able to finish getting to where I would like to be. That's all thanks to Lion Diet. I know I come back and harp on it over and over. But I'd just like to remind you guys, even though I'm working on some videos that talk about a lot of different things that have to do with the food we eat and some nutritional things I've noticed, success stories so that you can see that it's not just me in this little tiny box you call YouTube talking to you about it. It's the people who have been watching these videos and getting the response from their body that they've been looking for. Apparently not every single person gets the exact same results, but the number of people who are commenting that have had great results doing lion diet or any other form of carnivore diet have just been amazing and in a huge number larger than the naysayers. And when it comes to the naysaying, I gotta be honest, I wonder if they're doing it as, as seriously as they need to because it's real easy to make excuses for yourself and do things that you shouldn't do and say that it's okay because when you're trying to do an elimination diet, you're only hurting yourself if you're cheating. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody. Your body knows what you're getting. So, you know, if you're trying to really eliminate to see what foods are affecting you negatively, 
getting down to the brass tacks and in this case it's ruminant meat water and salt have just been the killer for me and those have been the things that I've thrived on since starting this diet and I can't help but scream it from the rooftops because I want to see other people get their life back other people that are maybe younger than me even but heavens I got a lot of people in my channel that are in their 60s and 70s that are finding a second life again and I don't want you to get left out so come on if you haven't started doing a diet that's going to work for you if you haven't started the exercise that's going to transform your body what are you waiting for say it screw it I'm going to get up and do it and then get up and do it I'll see you next time if we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?